Test, test. All right. All right, commentator, your winner's quarters, best of three set. I am back from the depths of loser's bracket. Unfortunately, having a mediocre run, but <laughs> it's all good. It is uh, harmless on the microphone. Let's see what kind of commentary that we got with Umans versus Olego. Ooh, okay. That probably explains a lot of, uh, <laughs> that explains all the cans that I'm seeing on screen because Olego does like that neutral B button. And in fairness, it is a good projectile. Comes out frame one. And, uh, to cover a lot of space. Ooh, okay. So I haven't really seen Umans play a whole lot. I've played against Olego though. Pretty good. Pretty good duck hunt player. Ooh, Umans trying to go in close and uh, cause the projectile to give him advantage. I can. Ooh. Yeah, there's a reason why they call it explosive can and not explosive can't. Because, man, you can get in if you try hard enough. Oh, Olego with an. Oh, does not quite finish the combo though. Umans' his turn. Catches a jump onto the right side platform, so I got the flood charge now. Nice. Neutral is to uh, presumably control a little bit of space, but Fireball doesn't really uh, have a whole lot of hits done, so you gotta be careful using it. Your opponent can decide to just like eat it and just like get in if they want. Oh my goodness, runs away for the full distance from the clay pigeon. Honestly, it's kind of what you need to do sometimes, just know when you, when you can go in and when you cannot. Tries to go for the uh, tries to go for the downer, unfortunately not gonna find the enough frame for it. Oh my goodness! Interesting. <gasps> Owen does the up tilt, catches him with the can actually, and the can is going to take away that second stock. Both players down on the last stock, so Umon's fresh from the platform. Oh, Side B does not actually cover the can coming from behind. Tries to go for the double dunk, does not find the double. Fireball does eat the can, does not get the ledge jump though, so now we're back to neutral. <gasps> oh my goodness, that hit? <laughs> Man's hit him with the full head swing. Oh my god, he's just like. Ooh, just let it rip. <laughs> All right. You only started playing in quarantine. Oh, hey, by the way, what's good, Minoj? Mm. Yeah, I still remember Vinny Hongo came, match checked everybody. Talking. Yeah, honestly, bro, bro, even before, like, K like K KBF came in from Santa Cruz, like, Vinny Hongo just came and just absolutely wrecked everybody. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Yeah, tight. I got the new drip. I got the glasses. I got the haircut. I've been feeling very good today. Yeah, honestly. Uh, we got a lot of really good players. Olega's kind of been around for a little while too, and uh, coming in from SJSG uh, as of uh, the last uh, as of the last uh, fall quarter. So he's been he's been looking good. He's looking fresh, coming in with the duck hunt. And I feel like duck hunt's just one of those characters where, like on paper, he doesn't look very strong at all. And then you actually see like all the little synergy coming in between all like duck hunt's normals, projectiles. You know the kind of space that they want to control. They can definitely do a lot of things that a lot of other characters can't. Yeah, between the gunman and like, you know, providing space, the can being kind of like controlling a lot of the air. Like, you've got yourself a really effective zoner, actually. And even the upbeat, like, it can be cancelled in the normals. Like, you've actually got a surprising amount of control of this character. Oh, yeah, tries to get the can just in case that they wanted to like get a trade in on Mario trying to come with back air, maybe. But even then, Umans is still going to find his way taking the stock. 1 to 7% on Mario, but that's okay because he's now up a stock. And if he can hang on to this one, he can get a, he can get a lot of pressure on characters. I'm sorry, you can get a lot of pressure on the table. And it should be noted that uh, whenever people talk about zoners, I think it's also really important to recognize that zoners actually have a, have a lot of work to do whenever they're down, in, like stocks and percent. Like, because a lot of their kill options don't actually kill very early, at least with regards like projectiles. Even if you're talking about like charge shot, like there's actually a surprising amount of um, you kind of have to have your opponent like very close to like the um the blast zone if you want to get like you know a reasonable kill at like 80 or 90. You kind of already need to have that stage position to make it work. And otherwise, owners can actually fall behind pretty quickly. Uh, if, you, if you let them, if you just like take away the leaf from them. You know, if they aren't playing a cool ca calculated neutral, you know, they're just gonna, they're gonna end up making mistakes and it's gonna cost them a lot. Ooh, nice back air catches him. Oh, back air's a can! That was so smart. Oh, wait! Where did he go? Did he air dodge? Uh oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> this duck is. This duck and this dog are missing, yo. Know, like, can, can you help me find them? Oh, nice reflect. Does not get the full spike, but that's okay. Oh, wait out for the air dodge. So smart. Does not get the reset, though. Now we're back in neutral. With four smash, that's huge. Ugh. Not gonna kill. Give it one more, though. 
Oh, that was nice. Sending the can all the way back. I actually didn't even see it get uh get its uh, trajectory changed towards the right. That was really smart. Really good recognition from Alego. Oh, wait a second. He's making it back. <gasps> no, he's not. He missed the air dodge back to ledge. And unfortunately, Alego is going to be going down. Uman's taking it 2-0. TR33.